Hey, welcome to Gator's Corner. I'm Gator, and I'm here with a few news stories for you. I want to throw out there, see what you guys think, give me some feedback on your opinions, uh, you know, any insight you might have, uh, anything I may have left out, um, or just simply to hate or point out where I, you know, did something wrong. Nothing wrong with that. So, the big news story that I have here in front of me today is that they have finally casted the new Ghostbusters cast. And the interesting thing about it is it's an all-female cast. Now, at first, I'll be honest with you, I was a little bit like, I don't know about this when I saw the, the headline, all-female cast for Ghostbusters. But then once I got into it and I started looking at the cast, I'm not going to lie, I'm uh, pretty impressed and I'm pretty excited. So let's get to the cast. First off is an easy one, Kristen Wiig. Everyone knows her from SNL. Absolutely hilarious. We love her. She's going to be hilarious. She's going to do a great job. So um, that's definitely exciting to see her part of it. That right there automatically gives me hope uh, before I even go on any further. Uh, and then it only gets better. Melissa McCarthy. Now, I will admit she has seemed a little bit one-dimensional for me lately uh, with all these movies. Um, you know, she's just kind of the same character in all of them. Hopefully she can get away from that a uh, little bit in this. She's hysterical, though. We all love her, let's not lie. Uh, it's nothing you can lie about. Moving on from that is Kate McKinnon, which a lot of you guys may not know. Uh, but if you've watched SNL the past two seasons, um, you definitely know who she is because, in my opinion, she's made a heck of an impact. And I think she's absolutely hilarious. You probably know her for a Justin Bieber impersonation, which uh, every time I see it, it's just hysterical. And... Last but not least, Leslie Jones. I mean, I do know the least about her. Uh, she's been on SNL this season, which I've watched, and she's been absolutely hysterical. Um, that one, I'm not so sure about, just because of the my lack of knowledge of what she's done um, or how good she is, and I've only seen her in a few sketches. But uh, overall, very impressed uh, with this cast. I'm curious uh, exactly how they go with this, uh, you know, are they going to try to stay similar to the old ones, and what's going on there, is it going to be something completely new, um, it's, I mean, it's going to be very interesting, so that's definitely something I'll be looking forward to, and I'll be looking into further, if you have anything else to add about it, or you know anything I don't, uh, let me know, um, the other thing I'm going to talk about with you guys today is the new Fantastic Four trailer, now, I don't know if you guys have gotten a chance to check this out. If not, go to imdb.com, uh, literally my favorite website in the world. I have lost just days and days there. But anyways, uh, that's beside the point. Um, honestly, I think they did a great job. Uh, it's two minutes long, which is a little long for a teaser, if you ask me. Um, it kind of takes the whole... I mean, you might as well not even call it a teaser. Uh, but they do definitely tease when it comes to seeing them in their element with their powers with uh you know their abilities uh which was very good go out watch the trailer um it's i don't know it's it's interesting i'm, I'm not sure how good it's going to be the trailer definitely looked good though it looks like they're taking a darker route with it which i like um i know superheroes are kind of goofy and childish but i like to definitely see a serious tone I think some of the movies in the past here have kind of failed with being goofy. Uh, for example, the other Fantastic Four movies, um, the Green Lantern movie, definitely. If that would have been more serious, a little darker, uh, perhaps it would have done even you know a lot better than what it did, and we'd be seeing a, a sequel with Ryan Reynolds. Ugh, that would have been horrible. But anyways, they're remaking that in 2020, which I will be looking forward to. So go see the Fantastic Four trailer. Tell me what you guys think. Thanks.